have happened upon a very depressing scene. Right here I'm standing next to a deceased wombat that has been hit by a car um, and a uh, little baby trying to get back into the pouch. So what we're gonna do is uh, wrap this little guy in a towel and we're gonna call um, a wildlife rehabber to come pick this up. Um, this is um, an unfortunate scene, but a relatively common one uh, as well. Um, just a harrowing reminder to slow down, uh, keep an eye out for wildlife, uh, because you never know um, if they're carrying uh, little treasures. <sighs> All right, come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, poor baby. So, we did call the rehabber, and they are going to come out in a few hours. It's still pretty early. It's 4.41 a.m. Um, so, we're going to be babysitting a wombat for a few hours. A second look, he is bleeding just a little bit. Looks like just some cuts and scrapes. Doesn't look like anything too serious. Um, what's most important with baby uh, Joey's is keeping him warm. Uh, so we're gonna uh, pack him up in a pillowcase, wrap him with another towel. Um, and uh, a baby wombat this size, um, food isn't gonna be necessarily at the top of the priority, just keeping him, just keeping him comfortable and warm is gonna be, that's what's gonna help him be the most successful. So he's bleeding just a tiny bit. Might be able to doctor those up while we're waiting for those, for the rehabbers to get here. Good thing we caught you in time, buddy. Right now, right now. Now, it is incredibly critical and important that you respect the animal space and boundaries. When you pick up an animal off the side of the road, oftentimes this animal has just endured one of the most traumatic events in its entire life. Any excess stress on top of that can, in fact, determine whether or not this animal is able to recover, whether it's able to recover quickly, and whether it's able to recover at all. So make sure that you're providing a safe, warm, quiet environment for these animals as they're able to recoup, calm down, and sort of get back into the rhythm of things to the point where the rehabber can then come and pick them up and get them back into a normalized schedule and lifestyle. Now, of course, these animals might decide in their own capacity that they might like a little more intimacy, and um, that is more than okay to, to give a comforting hand to these little animals after they've had a traumatic experience. Here, I'm just rubbing lightly on the back of this wombat's head, and as you can see, she is she's calm, she feels safe, she knows I'm not trying to hurt her, and um, she's able to kind of, again, relax, bring those stress levels down, let that heartbeat kind of start, start not beating at thousands and thousands of beats per minute. This is incredibly critical for these animals to have a positive experience at this very formative time. Now, as you can see here, she's, she's gained a lot of energy back. That initial wave of, of stress hormones, of anxiety, that kind of just fight or flight response has kind of died off and she's able to kind of relax and and maybe get in a more playful mood or at least feel uh, relaxed enough to kind of rest. So you can see here she is asleep. 
uh, which is another really good sign that the animal is at least in a state where they can, in fact, get their body to shut down and sleep, um, which is a good sign. That typically means uh, a healthy sleep without interrupted breathing patterns. That's a good sign that the animal's healthy and that's going to be able to survive. Uh, so the rehabbers have just come and pick up, uh, picked up the uh, wombat. Uh, they gave her a look over and it looks like um, she's actually going to be okay. Uh, so again, just um, a reminder to slow down, keep an eye out for wildlife, um, and um, uh, again, don't approach wildlife if you're uh, um, unsure of how to uh, deal with it. Um, if you, you notice from my video, I was wearing um, sterile gloves. Um, I didn't really come in contact with the animal um, uh, until we made sure everything was all right, everything was healthy. Um, as far as it goes, uh, with handling wildlife, obviously it's not ideal. Um, it can stress out a lot of animals um, to handle them. Um, but uh, with joeys, with baby animals, a lot of times um, it's the only option because you gotta keep them warm, you gotta keep them safe, um, because otherwise they don't stand a chance. Um, but really, really nice. She calmed down quite a bit um, and she's on her way uh, to growing up and being released in the wild.